guys, I'm Naga Dachan, and welcome to my reaction for Dororo episode 3. So we met both of the protagonists, we learned a tiny little bit about them, what, I mean mostly about Hyakimaru, what is like his goal I guess, that he's like slaying these demons, or what they are to gain I guess his body parts he lost because of the curse, because of his father. I guess that's his objective. Because like the previous uh, Bandai was her name, the lady, she was saying something which I think sounded like that. And I think it was mentioned in the old version too. I don't exactly remember. <laughs> we still haven't learned much about Dororo, so I'm kinda looking forward to it. Also we met like this old blind man who seems to have the same kind of capabilities as Hyakimaru, like sensing and having like some kind of being able to see like the souls or something like that. I, I don't know. <laughs> but well, he is able, both of them are able to kind of see, kind of. So I guess that's how they are able to like fight or orient. orient themselves, though they cannot see everything, right? So that is pretty interesting that we kind of learn that how this old man kind of like why he was shown in the first episode. I wonder what his role will be. And there are like still some other characters we've seen which I'm interested in. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to start it. So starting it right now. I'm pretty intrigued, yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty nice introduction <laughs> to the studio, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this looks cool. I mean, that happens when it's that part of history. Yeah, war sucks. Ouch. Okay. Well, that's one way how to do it. Oh damn, that's one way how to do it. Oh god. Oh, it's this man. Uh, what just happened? Okay, I guess it's the man who is just like distributing those artificial limbs all over the places, right? He looks like the one. Well, that, uh, that was brutal and sad. So like he was doing this to all the people who survived, but it seems by order of someone and this lady like run after him, I guess to warn him. And someone killed her. Zack. Okay, now it's too loud. Okay, this is better. Okay, who are the people which made this opening? It's really great. Even their English sounds pretty good. Usually, not all Japanese people are good at English, but like, not really much people in my country are very good at it too. <laughs>
like, have an accent. Okay. The story of Jukai. Interesting. Oh, we are black and white. Well, more of a grayish than black and white. Oh, wedgies. Doctor. Oh. Hmm. I mean, especially around this time period, having someone who can, like, treat illnesses and injuries, yeah, that person would be very res respectable. Oh, yeah. He has very nice voice. I know the voice actor, I can just place him, oh my god. Yeah, of course people would love him if he's helping so much. He seems troubled. Oh? Oh. Well, given the grayscale, I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> oh, way to set the atmosphere, especially with the start thing point of this episode. Okay, working all the time. Indeed. Okay, I really love this gray scale. It's so it's so cool. Oh, what happened? Yeah, people are probably coming from far away, I guess. Oh my god. Well that would indeed hurt a lot. What happened? Oh my god. Yeah, that would definitely happen. Mm. If people like that have authorities like that, god dang it. Oh, you looked at me wrongly? I guess that's death for you. Chop it to chop, the limbs are off. Ah, oh, poor woman, she even has a scar on her face. What happened to her? That's some serious blood loss. He should be glad if he survived that. But at this woman, like, tried to do something about it, so he wasn't just bleeding out. Yeah, they seem like very nice people. I mean, in this time period, you probably don't meet that many nice people. Outsiders. Rumors. Okay. This seems like serious knowledge being written there. He looks so sad and troubled. Hmm. I guess it's true. So this was like way before that. Hmm. Is it before? Like <laughs> that would happen was before was up uh, before this. <laughs> um, oh my god! Mm, he probably is doing that because he felt bad or feeling he is feeling bad for what happened there. Yeah, he jumped down and I guess he survived, so he's like, I guess there is something I need to do with my life. And that's, that's why he became orphan. Yeah, that's a, not a nice thing.
I don't think... I don't think he's going to be resisting. He's like, I have a job I need to do and then do whatever you want. Yeah, he must feel very bad. It shows in his face and eyes. Very nice touch. Yeah, he probably went through a lot. Okay, colors are back. And gone again. <laughs> okay. Weird. But pretty cool. Oh, I guess because it was raining or something. It's like so weirdly discolored, but I like it. Child, love is more difficult than that. Hmm. He's running away. But you need to look at a bigger perspective. He's trying to save people. Hmm. I can understand why he would feel bad. We don't know his whole story. And living in this kind of time of period is... Oh my god. Very harsh. People can change also. Maybe back then he thought it's not such a bad idea. But after he realized what he was doing was wrong. Oh, then he found a baby and took care of him too. <laughs> well, baby, more like a spawn of Satan. <laughs> I mean, that's how he kind of looks like. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine you would get something like that. Right? I mean, it's cursed, so it's still kind of alive. Yeah. Um, I want to see, like, more of his backstory. I want to smack him in the face so much. Yeah, she just can't stop thinking about that. She still thinks about her old son. Oh, damn. Very agile. Even at such young age. Oh, my God. Don't need it raw, please. <laughs> I was like, nope, you are not going to eat me. So cute. I really like his voice. Such a nice voice. Maybe Kyoraku? Yeah, it's kind of like a purpose in his life after what happened, seemingly. Because he was trying to die and survive, so he needed to find something. That's sweet. Yeah. This boy's not done. Butter. Yeah, keep water. Oh. He's so cute. I mean, when he's older, he's so goddamn pretty, but he's so goddamn cute as little baby. What a cute little boy. 
Oh, irises. Or ayama. Right? In Japanese. I love these flowers. I love them so much. Oh? Oh. Oh. What the heck? What the heck are you? Weasel? Demon? Oh damn. N nice work, what? You ask me. Demon, I presume. <laughs> He's laying down so stiffly. <laughs> Boy, that's so creepy. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh god dang. That's creepy, but he can sense them or see them. I guess. He's so cute. Yeah, he needs to learn how to fight. If there are monsters being drawn to him, of course. Meanwhile, this boy is learning how to fight too. Ouchie. That probably hurts a lot. The whole mother. Oh yeah, sure you are. He's so cute too. Oh? Oh yeah, that's definitely a topic we want to talk about. <laughs> Lovely. I mean, the kid doesn't know better because he has such a scummy father, which is pretty sad. And mother probably can't do much. Okay, they're fighting. Um, time passes. Great music. Soundtrack. And thus he started to slay demons on his own. Was that a manrail? Looked like one. Maybe snakes? Seriously, there are so many monsters. I mean, he said they are probably drawn to him, so I guess it makes sense. Oh, damn. He definitely saw a better day. He still lays down so stiffly. It's creepy. Dude, you're not going to lay in a coffin for now. I mean, I guess so. Everything was taken from him. Because he doesn't know how it feels, I guess. So he cannot empathize. That he's causing such a pain, I guess? Maybe. Good him. At first, but... Damn, how many monsters did he... Is he getting a little bit scared? I mean, he is slaying a lot of monsters, not gonna lie. I mean, yeah, he's kind of not a mar normal kid, which can slay demons like this with not much effort. So it would be like, okay, I hope I did not like help a demon spawn or something, and he's going to slay all people or something like that. Oh.
Oh. Yeah, that would definitely probably scare the shit of some out of someone. It's a girl. Ooh. He's like, hmm, just right after he killed that. This happened. I wonder what is happening. Hmm. Okay. It was. So, what is dude was before he kind of started going around? Because he seems pretty knowledgeable. He knows how to write. He knows some medicinal stuff. Right? He knows how to hold a sword, so he wasn't a normal everyday person. I assume. No. I mean, he's like his son. Oh. He took care of him for such a long time. Of course, it's like he's saying goodbye to his son and probably doesn't know what will happen to him and what, where fi fate will kind of throw him. Yeah, that's what we assume. Yep. Pretty cruel. Everything. Yeah, I hope the dude will burn forever. We would need to understand the monsters. <laughs> Maybe go and ask them. Oh. I mean, yeah. He... Did not have that before. So that must be probably kind of new. Like, oh, is, is this how that feels? Oh. Damn. This man has a lot of job. He is having a lot of work. <laughs> With all of these sad people. Oh dang that. This is such a great ending, I love it so much. The opening. What a great fix.
They're such a great duo. I love them together. They're so cute. Aww. Oh, Kamaitachi. So it was a weasel? Kama Itachi. Kama Itachi, Kama Itachi. Itachi is a weasel, right? And Kama because of their claws, like... Yeah. It is one of, like, weird demons or something. Okay. That one was pretty cool looking, not gonna lie. So... In this episode, we learn a little bit more about um, Hyakimaru's father. I mean, um, foster father? I mean, he took him in and took care of him. And it seems like he's been through quite a lot, too. And I kind of don't know. They were talking, like, about a lord. Seems like he served for a certain lord. And I don't know... If it was a different lord, or if that lord was Hyakimaru's father. Was it a Shiba clan? Or a different kind of clan? I don't remember exactly. I would need to look. Yeah, I would definitely need to look into it. <laughs> I, I'm very bad with the names. So yeah, I, I don't know what's the name of Hyakimaru's father, like full name. So, he served someone. And I guess he was doing these horrible things to people. But then they killed someone. So I guess he realized that it wasn't a good people to serve. And wanted to end his life. But it's a wise. So I guess he decided, okay, I'm alive. I guess that's what I'm supposed to be. So I guess I'm going to help people. I guess that's like going to be my new role because probably all the horrible things I did. So yeah, I'm sure he was doing it because he felt bad. That like definitely makes sense. And he seemed to be helping people in that like small village or what it was, settlement. And it seemed like even people from some other places were coming to him because they were like hearing a lot about him. Okay, and he even had like someone who he was teaching, but then he, that kid learned who he was serving and he was very mad because that lord was pretty fucked up and, I mean, killed a lot of people. I mean, that's what happens in wars. And I cannot totally understand why the kid was so pissed. But again, like, this man was helping people a lot, so... Apparently, he really felt bad for what he was doing back then, right? And um, it seemed like he's changed person. Because, like, now he's helping people and, like, he's not even asking anything from them, right? Yeah. So, the kids should have understand, but again, he was a small child when stuff happened. And now he, like, learned... The person who held him is like the person who had something to do with his father's dad. I would definitely piss you a lot. And it's also the era where like, I guess people mostly just depend on themselves or on their communities, right? Yeah. That, that would suck a lot. <laughs> that would definitely suck a lot, so... I kind of, I can't understand that, why the kid would be so angry. But again, I'm sad because I understand, like, the man changed. And he's trying to do better than what he was. And like, yeah, people change. And that's good if they're trying to change. And then, uh, because what happened, he kind of moved again. That's very sad. Because of the rumors. Oh, those goddamn rumors. He moved somewhere else, and he found, I mean, he found Hyakimaru, then moved somewhere else, and kind of dedicated his life to raising him. And basically, Hyakimaru became his son. That is very sad, because, like, he took time to care for him, raise him, and, like, gave him all this artificial stuff. Right? 
And then, like, this kid is going to some journey, right? Because, like, demons keep happening, <laughs> appearing. So it's, like, very dangerous. And, like, he needs to kill these demons to gain what was lost. So, of course, like, that would make him very sad, like... You are basically my son. Now you're going on some journey. I don't even know, like, what's at the end of it. Like, would you survive? Would you not? Of course that would make him so goddamn sad. And after what happened, he had someone, like, he really deeply hurt for. That was very sad. And of course, Yakumaru seemed to be caring for him, too. I mean, he was like his father. <laughs> but it seems uh, from previous episode, Yakumaru gained... A feel? Feel? Now he can feel pain, so that's a new thing for him, I guess. Yeah, how he will be able to work with that if he never felt the pain? And now, like, he's... I mean, he seemed pretty shook. <laughs> so, like, that's a newfound thing. Will he be able to fight with it, like, with no problems? Because before, like, he fought and had no problems. But now he knows what pain is. That could change things a little. Also, he would understand what it feels like to have pain. Huh. I wonder if they will incorporate it into the story. I'm pretty intrigued. So, I really like this episode. It was, like I said, I'm very interested in these characters. And I will, like really liked the kind of story what we got about this person, about a foster father <laughs> of Hayakimaru. And I hope we will like see him later on. Like all the characters which were shown, I hope we will see more of their stories. Like seems like the blind man is traveling with them. I wonder for how long will that be happening? And what his role will be? I wonder what um the man's role will be, like, Yakimaru's father, foster father, not his real father. Oh my god, this is getting complicated. <laughs> I definitely want his real father to burn in hell forever, because that's what he deserves. I mean, I guess he lost his new son, right? Because, hey, he sacrificed his first son, and now he has finally a son he wanted. Yikes. But he still deserves to burn. On the other hand, his new son probably would not be very happy with that notion. God damn it. Complicated. This is too complicated. <laughs> oh no. So I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. And I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.